often the difference between achievement and failure can be measured by inches. One person just about starts a project, the other person starts it. One individual almost completes a task, the other completes it. One person thinks about writing the screenplay or the book, and the other actually writes it. One student nearly passes an exam, the other does pass it, and although the difference in their marks may only be, let's say, a percentage point out of 100, it's that one point that makes all the difference. When we look at sports, this razor edge philosophy becomes very evident. I like researching the past because often you can find treasures that will help fuel your future. So, for example, in the 1976 Olympic Games, there were eight finalists competing in the 100 meter dash. But the runner who actually won gold was literally one tenth of a second faster than all the individuals that finished after. So think about all these athletes spent their entire life training, the grueling pain, all the obstacles they had to endure and they had to overcome, sort of like I have to overcome this airplane that's traveling over me. But all of that that they had to do, they get to this race and literally if they were two tenths of a second faster, they could have been wrapped in gold. Another story that I love is a story about a racehorse named Armed. Now Armed was the first in actually in American history to win over a million dollars in prize earnings. In one season, Armed won roughly $760,000 in earnings. The runner up to Armed, the horse came in with about $75,000 that year. So you would think that Armed was 13 times better than the runner up, but in actuality, when they tallied up the time, and a lot of these races, Arm barely won by like a nose. So with all the times that Arm was able to win, there was only a 3% difference. So from 765,000 and the other was 75,000, it was 3% of a difference in speed. So right now in your life, you could be inches away from changing the whole course of your life inches of effort it might be to wake up and get to work on whatever task that you've been saying that you're gonna do just wake up and do it wake up and do it wake up and do it maybe that's the only thing that has stopped you because you've been talking about doing it but maybe once you go throughout your day then you no longer feel like doing it in the evening right some of you you have simple goals of just weight loss Literally, what can change your life in the next six months is instead of going to the gym after work, just get up an hour earlier and go and make sure you go every day. It's literally that change of habit. And so I don't know what it is in your life that you've been procrastinating with or what you're almost, almost, almost finished completing. But I'm here to encourage you and tell you that you are inches away and I believe in you. Let's go.